Hey guys, how are you? We're gonna do my trade review today for you. Well, for me, but you can watch it if you want. <laughs> Here we go, Roku, first thing. Traded Roku long this morning. And uh, yeah, so you can see here down here are my trades. 9.36, I was long the 130 calls, about two of them. 9.36, that's right around here. You can see we topped out and had a little micro pullback. I did sell one contract there, and then we continued higher. And I didn't take the other contract off for a profit. In fact, I held it, and I added again right after this pullback. So you can see here, I bought, sold, and bought again a contract at 10 a.m., 10.01 right there, right on this candle, because I thought the pullback was over and I was gonna hold it as long as we were gonna hold 113. So generally, we got a little bit of a move higher here. Nowhere did I take profit, and I held until we lost the five minute uptrend, and that's where I stopped out the trade at 10.24. 10.24, I stopped out the entire trade for a small loss for basically my loss that I was expecting to take on the trade. So basically I'm risking about $20 a trade in these trades I take, small account challenge. All right, so that was the first trade, it was a loser. And it's weird that it was a loser because there was profit at some point. And, and again, guys, I'm trying to get good at this. It's just the fact that when the market gives you profit, you have to take some, okay? It doesn't matter if it's not hitting your profit target, take some profit, that's it. <laughs> it's weird, anyways. Next trade was on Facebook. Facebook was chopping around for the majority part of the morning. Let's go to the one minute because it looks a little clearer. Basically, this is the daily support level on Facebook is around 201. So we were keeping an eye on that this morning. As you can see, we were, we were getting close to it here. And I went long for the first time at 1042. On this candle, I sold a put credit spread. And uh, so that was my way of going long on that trade, two of them. You can see at a price of $1.13 per spread. So basically my stop loss was going to be 250 cents approximately, a little lower or a little higher. So I was gonna watch what was gonna happen. So what happened was we, we continued to test the support, then saw another huge bull reaction, which got sold into again a second time. Now this is a very bearish signal. We tried, we tried again, double bottom, and then we finally broke below that right there. 11.36, right on the break below 250. Below that, I was watching it consolidate here and I decided to get rid of the position. However, I made a trading mistake and I only covered half my position. I did not stop out the entire position. I did not mean to do that. So that was stupid. That was a dumb mistake. That's why I'm trading a small account, guys, to stop doing dumb things like that, okay? So I was meaning to get rid of the entire position, but I only sold half of it. Anyways, at this moment, I was in the zone in the sense that I was, I, I felt confident in my ability to read what Facebook was going to do next. In the sense that once it was below that key daily support, there was a higher likelihood of it selling off a lot more, okay? And that's when I decided to change my bias to bearish. So I started to pick up some of these 195 puts here because they fit my risk tolerance. And I bought two of them at 11.45, right here. 11.45-ish, that's when I started to pick them up. I saw this kind of bearish consolidation. And then I said, you know what? I'm switching my bias to bearish. I'm gonna go bearish here, keep my stop relatively close. But I think that there's gonna be a lot of selling pressure in this trade. So this Facebook bearish trade ended up working quite well. As, as it broke below 200, there was a huge liquidity sweep right here that freaked me out personally. I'm sure it freaked a lot of people out. Basically, I think it was causing a huge panic. So once I saw this happen, I covered half the put position right there. You can see uh, right here, I sold the, the first contract. And then I actually sold the other one for just under my break even on this pop right here, because you never know, right? The market's telling me it's popping, so I don't know what's gonna happen. So after that, I was out of the position. I waited for a little longer, and I saw it just pretty much got sold into. A lot of aggressive selling, because you can see here, we're still kind of below the 200 mark. Generally, I would expect more selling here, okay? So I got back into a put at 12.04. So as we were breaking the low of the day pretty much. So that was it and then I covered a little lower here. And basically I was sort of scalping this thing in and, in and out a few times. You can see here, bought, sold. Bought at 2.34, sold again at 2.50. The thing is, 
I was holding through a lot of this right here. So you can see right here, that's sort of generally what I was doing. This was the first buy, the first sell take profit. The second one, I covered the rest of it. Then I got back short right here, covered, and then I bought again and made my cost basis slightly worse. At that point, I held through this big pullback right here. And then after that, you can see that Facebook did come back down and break that low in which case it hit my profit target of 250 and I was out of the trade at 250. Anyways, I covered, once it broke above here, I was covering the position. Now my problem here was that I was trying to scalp it also here. So basically I, I tried to scalp it short right here again. And that was a mistake because as you can see, it broke above 199 and then it kept going. But the good thing is, is that I got out of the trade as soon as it broke 199. So basically, I, I respected my plan, but I did give back profits. That's the thing. So I was up over $75 at one, one point on this put option, on these put options, because I was in and out of one and two contracts. Yeah, so basically my mistake was over trading these puts too much. You can see I, I tried to buy again, and then I sold there for a tiny loss, giving back profits again. And then another time later in the day where I tried to buy, sold one higher, and then I sold the other one lower, which lock, which knocked out some of my profits again. So yeah, guys, it's uh, mastering my scalping strategies is what I'm trying to work on here. I need to get better at self-managing during the trading day. I need to get better at stepping away from the computer during the trading day. I need to get better at monitoring myself for making errors, very important. And I need to get better at simply taking profits when the market gives it to me. I have the seven principles of consistent success. I'll read them to you right now. So this is based on the book, Trading in the Zone. First one is I objectively identify my edges. That's pretty easy. It's just being able to tell when there's a higher probability of one thing happening over another. Number two is I predefine the risk of every trade. So far I've been doing very good with that. Number three is I completely accept the risk or I'm willing to let go of the trade. I'm doing pretty good with that as well because I am trading with a sample set as I told you in a previous video. Number four, I act on my edges without reservation or hesitation. Generally I'm doing good with that as well. Number five, this one I'm having trouble with. I pay myself as the market makes money available to me. I am having trouble paying myself in a lot of these trades. Number six, I continually monitor my susceptibility for making errors. Yes, but sometimes if you're staying in front of the screen too long, you lose track of yourself, okay? And you can put on a trade without necessarily doing one of those important steps, okay? And number seven is understanding the absolute necessity of these principles of success and therefore never violating them, okay? My other trade I had on the day was, uh, I did sell Roku credit spread once I saw Roku acting kind of bullish in the middle of the day here. Let's see, when did I sell that spread? Let's see. Bought, I bought two credit spreads and I bought another one there at 44. So it was at 10.56 a.m. So approximately here, when Roku made a higher high, I was in and then I was willing to scale in as long as 112 was going to hold. And as you can see, 112 held and then it was bulls all day after that, okay? So that spread was, was profitable. That was one of my only profitable trades on the day. So I'll just recap those trades real quick. I had the Roku 130 calls in the morning, which I ended up trading also later in the day. I had the Facebook credit spread, which I stopped at only half by accident, which I wanted to stop out the whole position. I had the Facebook puts, which were heavily profitable at first, and I ended up giving back the majority of that profit by over scalping and by not being nimble enough in my executions in that regard. And I had the Roku credit spread that I sold right around 10.50, and then I added to that position because I had a stop below 112. All right, guys. If you learned something from this video, good for you. All right, guys, enjoy your day. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Take care, bye.